Break time. He's eating again. <laughs> he really is. He really is the fattest of them all. <laughs> My name is Subasa Katai. As you can see, I'm kind of a fat ass. I don't care what my classmates think of me. That's what I thought. At least until I changed seats a week ago. She's looking at me, right? Her name is Aira Yoneda. She's been glaring at me without saying a word after she got seated next to me. What the hell? I'm just eating bento. She's a terrifying delinquent. A few days later, one day I was just eating the day's first bento when... You're overeating. Huh? I can eat what I want. Yeah, sure, but I've always wondered. Do you eat the food thinking this tastes good? Huh? What are you saying, Yoneda-san? If he didn't, he wouldn't eat. Uh, good? I don't know. I'm not sure. What? I knew it. You don't eat it like it tastes good. Huh? Really? You feel safe when you eat. Oh yeah, that's it. I see. Then if you want to eat something, tell me. Huh? I'm getting hungry when I'm always smelling your food too. I'm saying that it's better some fat ass like you talk to me than me gain weight too. Huh? Oh, come on. I can't eat anything. I don't know if I can do it. Um, Yonida-san. What? I can eat somewhere else then, right? What? You don't want to talk to me that much? Th that's not it. I really didn't want to talk to her though. She's definitely a delinquent and an outcast, even from a fat ass like me. There are rumors that she's doing some really sketchy part-time jobs and that she has a boyfriend in jail. But we have nothing in common. How do you know? You've never talked to me. Right. What are your hobbies? What is this? Some kind of date? Ugh, whatever. Hobbies? Oh, uh, cooking. Huh? Huh? What? You got a problem with that? If you don't believe me, come to where I work. I cook there too. She handed me a flyer to her part-time job. Ah, I know this place. It's that really good bento place that was on TV the other day. Yeah. It's my cousin's store. Huh? It's that good? It's the opposite direction from my house, so I've never been. It's really good. You want me to bring some tomorrow? Really? Me too. I want some. Y yeah. Huh? She seems happy. Is she happy because she can talk to her classmates? She might not be as scary as I thought. The next day... She brought a plastic bag while looking shy and came into the classroom donning plastic gloves. Um, m my cousin got carried away. She was saying before she took out so much food that you'd think she was having a party. Wow! M my cousin! There's so much! She's actually kind. She could have just left it at home. I guess she didn't want to waste the food that her cousin cooked. We all ate the food during lunch. Mmm, it's so good! <laughs> I helped make it. Mmm, yeah, it's so good. I'm gonna tell my mom about it. Ah, oh, that makes sense. The insane part-time job that everyone is talking about is the insanely good bento store that you work at. Hey! Huh? That was a rumor? Y yeah. What else? Um, that you have a boyfriend in jail. That's a lie, right? Uh, of course! I've never even had a boyfriend! Huh? Uh, oh. <laughs> You're so cute. You're mocking me. Not at all. Can I have another? Get as much as you want. My cousin will appreciate it. You're happy too. Shut up, Lardas! Well, that's rude. She was talking mad shit, but it had been so long since everyone just sat around a meal together. You, over here. She handed me a single bento box. Huh? I put in other foods that are definitely good, and not just the chicken. Uh, yeah. I ate the bento that she gave me.
Damn. It had been a long time since I'd thought that something tasted this good. Yay! All of the food other than the fried chicken was made by me. You made this? That day, I was able to survive with two bento boxes for the first time since starting school. I'm home. I went home and, as usual, my mom wasn't around. There was some writing on a note that read bento money and some cash on the table. I took that and, as usual, headed to the super cheap store to buy some dinner bento. This is how a single mother household was. I know that she's working hard to make sure I don't starve, but today... I'm lonely. I had so much fun eating with everyone. Only two isn't enough. Ah, I should go buy that chicken. I left the quiet house and walked towards Yonida-san's bento store. I heard she was working part-time, but... I walked inside and the store manager started talking to me. Welcome! Hey, that uniform... Is this her cousin? Um, I'm Yonida-san's classmate. Oh! Huh? Are you Quad Bento Boy? Uh huh? Oh, uh, yes. My face turned a bright red. Pyro was so happy about you eating her bento. Oh, yeah, it was delicious. So thank you. She's actually getting off her shift now, so hang on a sec. Wait, uh, no, I. I... Oh, she went to get Ira. I just came to buy some bento. I couldn't run away, so I waited outside the store with her. Wow, it really is you. What's up? Um, I couldn't forget about the bento from lunch. The fried chicken bento? Uh, yeah. Or the bento that we ate with everyone. Huh? How could you tell? She told me about her household and what was going on. Apparently, her household was also a single mother household and she was cooking herself to help out around the house. Then, her cousin praised her for her cooking, so she started cooking part-time in high school. The TV came by to interview the store, so she needed help anyways. Thanks to her, I'm alone less, and I like eating because it tastes good, you know? I see. Listening to her story, I wanted her to hear mine. I told her that I pretty much eat cheap store-bought bento, and that I'm almost always alone at home. I see. It wasn't quad bento. Huh? I mean, you ate two more at night, so like six? Or are you hiding more? <laughs> True. I'll make you one every day then. Huh? So, let's eat together? Uh, yeah. What do you not like? Uh, nothing. I eat anything. Mom compliments me about that. I see. We never stopped talking while we walked home. I had never had anyone like that in my life. I wanted to thank her for the bento, and she said that I just needed to come pick her up like this after her shift. I was always lonely walking alone at night. Yeah, I'll definitely come get you. Thanks. I was lonely, and she was lonely. But if we were together, we'd never be lonely. Half a year later, when I was a junior, how did this happen? You're so good looking! Let's go home together? I have plans. What? Hello, it's me, Katai. Huh? I look completely different. Yeah, Yonada-san's bento made me lose a lot of weight. Then I was scouted by a modeling agency, and I work as a freelance model to help her out around the house. My history of being overweight really spurred on people to like me, so in just a few months, I was a huge hit. But there's something that has never changed after all of this. Yeah, it's thanks to me. I'm sure he's not lonely anymore. <laughs> but I am. After I started my junior year, I was in a separate class from Yonada-san. And we only ever talked during breaks and after her shift. So I always looked forward to talking to her during lunch, but... Bento? <laughs> you don't need it anymore. Uh-huh. You don't binge eat, right? Then... But I need your bento. Then get one of your girls to cook it for you. So you won't cook for me because you don't like me? Huh? What do you not like about me? I'll fix it. Just tell me. D 
Dude, it's just a bento. Relax. I'm serious. I was saved by that bento. Katai. No, you saved me. Huh? If you didn't tell me that I was just eating to comfort myself, I never would have realized that on my own. M maybe. You called me over all the time and talked to me to make sure I wasn't lonely. You ate with me so I felt like I wasn't alone. I, I, I was also not lonely because you came home with me after my shift. But I'm lonely now. Huh? Did something happen? I, I, I see you surrounded by girls and... Are you saying... Yeah, is there a problem with me liking you? Is that okay? I saw her with her teary eyes, and I just couldn't help but hold her tightly. Whoa, what's going on? Don't interrupt them! Spill the details later, girl! Uh, um, I'll take care of you for the rest of your life. Y yeah That's how we started dating. Hey, Ira! You really came! I thought you had a shoot. Yeah, I worked hard to finish up early. Are you okay? Yeah. My life completely changed thanks to her. I'm sure it will continue to change. But my world will never change as long as she's in the center of it. Hello! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos! See you all next time! Bye-bye!